Well, hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show, the Tesla Timeout Series. Uh, I'm at home, as you can see inside. I've got some products from another company, another sponsor. Um, one, first, I want to thank you to time, take you, for you to take the time to watch me. And I've got some products today from EVACA. Uh, let me show you what I have here. All right, so this is the company, EVACA.ca. They're a nice Canadian success story. I always like promoting Canadian companies. They're based actually in Vancouver, the Burnaby, Burnaby, BC area. Sent me a few items. Main thing was a set of winter liner or liner mats for the Tesla Model 3. As you can see, we have the driver's one here. These are TPE rubber molded. Trunk, passenger trunk, the front and the sub trunk, and then the rear seat in the Model 3. So I'm going to go show how these fit. Uh, into the vehicle. One thing oh, so one of the things that make these guys different is that they have these carpet liners that go on top of the TPE plastic molded um, uh, liners as well, which is nice. So they have these, um, they're not magnets, they're kind of like uh, Velcro, but they're sticky. And these go on to the circles, press them in, and that way that holds the carpet when you want the carpet piece. Same with this. And then in the winter, when you don't want the carpet because they get all mucked up and full of salt, then you take them out and you have the rubber, which you can wash and clean. Uh, it's a nice thick TPE as well, as you can see by the, by the thickness of the material here. It's very, very sturdy. Very nicely molded, kind of like that WeatherTech thing again. Um, I like how people do these a little bit differently. So they, should, they should fit exactly to the Model 3. And then same with the carpet that's on the rear piece there. For the rear seating, it's got a couple of uh, those circles that stick and that hold it on. So I'm going to install these in the car now, show you how they look. All right, so I've got the driver's side one. I should really vacuum first, but I don't have time today. i got some running around to do, but I will. And that's a good thing about these is that they pop in and out. So it just installs up and under the panels, pedals and fits like a glove. There you go, over the dead pedal and the carpet's there and no movement, it's pretty sturdy. Boy, I like the looks of those. Oh, why my car is so dirty. Yeah, I really like the looks of those. They went in so easy, no fumbling, no stumbling. And again, that carpet piece, um, it's slightly adjustable. I can move that just slightly if I want, see how it is on the pedal, but I like that, I like the looks of those. And the carpet, nice and soft in the summer, and then of course in the winter with boots and snow, you wanna take the carpet out. Let me put the passenger side in. All right, so let me install the passenger side. Again, pretty straightforward. Let's follow the contour. And down she goes. She will fit right in. Nice and easy. I love this carpet piece again. It's got a tab too here that just adds some niceness you can grab it with. But again, you got these circles. They just stick to this. And after you put it on there, it won't, uh, won't move around. Really love the looks. Now I can tell you folks that I, I before I had the 3D Spider ones that I bought, uh, even before I bought my Model 3, and they're good mats. Let me show you them over here. Take you for a quick tour. I'm trying to do this stuff in the morning before I have to start working with my real job. But here are the 3D Spider ones, and there's 3D Max. There's nothing wrong with them, but I can tell you that those mats I just put in are twice as heavy as these. And these are fairly thick and rigid, but they're even more rigid and thick than those. So it tells you something about the quality of that material that this company is using, the EVACA guys. So let me set up and I'll put the rear seat one in and we'll see how that looks. Here's the rear seat one. I'll try to talk as loud as I can. You may not be able to hear me so well. But again, they just slide in under. You got the gap there. And voila. How simple is that, folks? that perfect fit really really nice fit him in on this super happy again the carpet you have a tab here you can grab it it's got those circles so it just lays on there and then won't take away but in the winter time when you want to take the carpet out so you don't muck it up for the winter you do that i've got my joe box here tissue box and slide that under there it always fits nice and neat and there you go we're well, really loving these things they have done a great quality job all right, the last piece here out of the four pieces, the main four pieces is a trunk liner. So let me figure out how this goes, which way it goes in. Uh, I think it goes this way. It's been a while since I've done this. Yeah, figure out which way it goes, folks. So you've got the 
this notch that goes towards the front of the vehicle, I believe. Yep. It goes in and just drops in. Boy, that's a beautiful fit. That's a really nice fit of it. I've got this buckle here. I'm just going to put lift it a little bit at the back. Just give it a little push and push it down. Yeah, that's a nice fit of it. So if I wanted to get access to the sub trunk here. Okay, so it does. It does unless it's hinge up. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to get a picture from this angle here, folks, for you. Maybe that'll be a bit better. I'll hold it up. So as I'm pulling this up, see how it's hinging? The back part is staying relatively in place. This just means it's easier access to your, um, to the, you know, the sub trunk there. Overall, I think it's a really nice fit, man. It's again, a nice solid, thick TPE quality. With All right, so then I'll get the liner for the front. Now, as you can see, as I mentioned, I have a pre-refresh 2020 Model 3, but it was so close to the refresh, it was a September 2020 build that I have some elements of the refresh, like, I have these holes up here versus here where you can, the older ones where you can get the hangers and the older ones are a slightly bigger front, a little bit more volume. And that one should be a direct fit and voila, it is. So there you go, <clears throat> nicely molded fit. Um, again, a nice material on it and very high upper lip on these things. Hopefully it's coming out on camera. Yeah, it's looking pretty good if I give you. Quick look, it's nothing too exciting folks. It's a nice fit there, holds all my stuff and uh, looking good. I am gonna be doing new uh, rim covers. So uh, they go over the existing stock wheels. They're only for the 18 inch wheels. So I'm gonna take those cap uh, lug nut covers off and the center uh, Tesla medallion there because these hubcaps basically will fit into it and they look like the aero uh, rims that come with the performance models. So they're really good. So let me unpack them and show you what they look like. All right, so here are hubcaps. I'll call them that because that's basically what they are. They're plastic covers for the 18 inch stock wheels that come on the Tesla Model 3. So if you have 18 inch stock wheels, these will fit. I don't think they have another set for the higher um, diameter wheels, but you'll have to check their website. And again, I'll have all the links to this stuff in the show notes as well. So this is what they look like. They're really nice. Now they come with blank centers. And what we did is we put this, these, this Tesla sticker on it. They give you five stickers. So we've used four of them. We have an extra one. Uh, left it for a while. I'll put them on the car and then I won't be driving it till tomorrow anyway. So I'll leave it overnight. If the stickers fall off, they fall off. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. I can always order something else online and try to jazz it up, but they look pretty good. So basically, just grab one quickly here. You'll see that there's a notch for the valve stem and they are basically just going to fit right over the existing rim like that I zoom out here and where the valve stem is of course and they just snap in so again you need to take the center off because the ring needs to go into where that tesla logo is that i have there cap and then everything just snaps in and holds on to the side of the wheel here and i asked them about how tough that is to hold and they said they've never had anything fall off so they're pretty confident in their product but that's basically the look that it's going to give a non-performance version vehicle and i like that and the other thing is once i put it on i'll show you quickly is because this lip extends it's going to come up over the the alloy here and offer some some protection for the rim for curb rash now i've already got one of my rims i think it's on the other side i have a little bit of curb rash from a couple of months ago so i thought that that was a neat feature that they offer that so let me put them on and uh, i'll show you what they look like all right, so just take the, uh, the wheel cover off, uh, line it up. I've got my valve stem down here with the notch and you'll line up at the center. And then you just basically slam it in. It's a very similar process to the, to the existing Model 3 wheel covers, the aero covers that we get with the stock 18s. And just go around, take your time, make sure everything's hammered in. Nice and neat. They will, of course, recess over time and make a good connection there. All right, so here's what they look like put on. So you have to take your time. 
and just focus on continuing to hammering around that until they till they see it in or set in. I think because they're new, they need to quote unquote stretch just a very tiny fraction. So you need to have some patience, continue to hammer from the outside, not so much in the middle. The middle can go deeper, but what it does is it pops the outsides out when you do that too much. So you wanna make sure that you go around the outsides discontinuous until you get a nice even set for everything. But they look real good. They really change the dynamics. You know, it looks like those turbine wheels that you get on the performance models and really makes my Model 3 look a lot different. So I do like that. Here, it's and a front trunk steering wheel logo decal bundle. Three pieces, it's matte black for the Model 3. And what it looks like is just this tiny little box. And he's got these three Tesla emblems in it. And if I come a little closer to the camera, this one's for the steering wheel. So it's a Tesla T emblem, as you can see. And put it's plastic, hard, it's matte plastic, ABS plastic, and then it has the 3M tape behind it. And what this does is they give you some adhesive promoter and you just glue this to your steering wheel. So this will go over the chrome T in your Tesla steering wheel. So I'm going to install this one, as well as, <clears throat> and in the other set is two of these. So these are the larger Tesla T's, Tesla logo symbols, with two pieces. You have the top of the T here. I can dig that out. They'll come nicely wrapped and protected. So you have the top of the T piece here. You can see that with the 3M tape. Behind it, it's matte black ABS plastic. And then you have the rest of the Tesla logo here. And it's matte black ABS plastic with again, the 3M tape that you peel away, double-sided tape, adhesive tape, and you clean it. They give you promoter to clean it. So I'm gonna put these on. These are gonna take a little bit more time because as you can see, I already have black logos. But if I get closer here with this camera. One take guys, one take, that's the way I operate. <clears throat> As you can see, it's looking pretty rough. I've got peeling, I've got fraying, I've got chips out of it. This is just a 3M film that I got, uh, oh, first, probably the first month or so after I got the Tesla, I Chrome deleted these. So I think it was part of the Chrome delete kit that I got from Test Bros in the US. So I'm going to heat this up gently, that's what I'm trying to say, with a heat gun. I can probably peel this off now. As you can see, it's already starting to easily peel off, but I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun so I can get it nice and off. I'll clean it up with the alcohol like I did for the door handles, and then I'm going to put this plastic cap on from ABS Plastic from EVACA. And see, it'll just snap right over the existing one here. I can line it up properly and then glue on. It actually fits over it and then snugs it down, which I like. I think it's going to stick a little better and not be susceptible. It won't be susceptible to peeling, just maybe popping off over time. We'll have to see. So I'm going to, that's a job I'm going to do when I get more time because I have to start working soon. But I uh, wanted to acknowledge and thank them for that. <clears throat> I will uh, show you what these look like once I get them on. So here's a steering wheel one. I'll just show you the example here. And here's, okay, that emblem, it just... It's going to snap over and then the tape's gonna hold it on like that. Looks pretty cool. One piece plastic on this one. Now, hardest part about these is starting to try to peel this tape because it's very fine. So if you have a toothpick or a very small flat screwdriver or needle nose plier, a, a needle nose tweezers or something that you can just get the corner of that tape without peeling off the entire, both sides of this thing. Cause sometimes they, they can come off if you uh, pull too hard. So you just start that tape off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel Peel this off and then I'm going to uh, just put it on top of this wheel and then press for about 30 seconds. There's no tape on this part. It's only tape on this part of the logo. So I'm just going to push and hold for about 30 seconds. Uh, just a, a, a easy force. You don't have to, you know, lay on it and honk the horn and stuff like that. Just enough force to for it to stick. I'm going to give it a quick cleaning here and then put it on. All right. So there it is on. I've... Uh, I actually held it down for a couple of minutes and I find covering everywhere that has the tape, which is this part as much as you can with your fingers while you're holding it, 
the heat from your fingers will help, you know, transfer that heat to the glue a little bit that's on that 3M tape, just a little trick. So the longer you hold it a little bit better, you don't need, necessarily need to heat this up with a heat gun. It probably wouldn't have hurt to do a quick blast just to get the tape a little tackier, but uh, doing that with your fingers will heat it up. When I put the ones outside on, I'm gonna use the heat gun a little bit just to, to get everything a little tacky so that they'll adhere, warm up the, the logo, the metal as well, or the chrome piece, because it's only six degrees C today. It's a cooler day, so I wanna make sure that they get it up to some nice bonding temperature so that it'll bond quite nicely and won't fly off. So anyway, that's the finish. All right, so going to now put the, um, the EVACA emblems on. And as I showed you, they're ABS plastic with 3M tape, one for each piece. But I already have a wrap, uh, as you call it, black piece here. So I'm gonna peel it off. And one thing, as I mentioned, is just get a heat gun, put it on low, so I have a heat gun here, and just ever so gently start putting it on here just to warm this up a tad. And then once you, you have it feeling, there you go, I've got the top piece. Give it a quick zap. And then you'll see here as it slowly and easily peels off. You don't really have to keep the heat gun on it a lot. And there you go, there's that one piece that I've got. Now for the T-Logo, heat it up just a bit to get it started here. I can grab a corner, yeah. Same thing, just give it a quick, quick blast with the heat. Because you don't want to scorch the paint, you don't want to bubble your paint. If you have PPF protection on this, you certainly don't want that coming off. Right, so you're just, you're just doing this quick little heating maneuver just to get it on the part that needs to come off and yeah I got right down to the tip there and then a little blast again a little blast it's, it's an exercise in patience and gentleness for this all right so now I got those off make sure you put your heat gun down on a down on a spot that won't burn anything <laughs> and now I've got that off I'm going to clean it a little bit of black pieces still on it just make sure there's nothing left stuck to it all right, so they're giving you a detergent and adhesion promoter, so they give you both. So I guess I'm gonna use it. Even though I used the alcohol already, probably overkill, I'm going to use this piece here. And I'm gonna keep it because I want some for the back side too. So again, just, I think it's the same thing I just did. Just using some alcohol wipes to um, clean it. I'm gonna put it back in so I can save it for the rear one. When I take that off, it doesn't dry out too much. I'll put that there. And then I have some adhesion promoter. It's going to dry that, that off again a little bit. I'm the master of it. Then get the adhesion promoter and find that in here. I already buried these things. And smell it and just rub that through both pieces here just rub a little bit on I'm going to be reusing this for the other one so I'm going to stick it back in here and kind of try to half seal it a little bit okay got my tea peeled warm it up a little bit just get a little tacky just a quick blast here quick blast warm that up again Dry off anything, quick blast, quick blast. Then we're gonna put it on. And again, this just sits right over the existing one. Pretty easy, you can't muck it up, you can't misalign it. It's warm. So then press down maybe 30 seconds or so, and that'll get you a good bond. Then I'll do the other piece. All right, so I've repeated the process as I showed you. So here it is, all nicely done, it's nice. Held it for about a minute, each piece. And we'll walk around to the other side of the car here. Just did the tail once. So peeled it off, treat, cleaned it. Used the promoter, adhesive promoter. Heated them up, both pieces a bit. Put them on, held it for about a minute, and off they go. Looks nice, I like it. It's, it's a 3D effect, they pump a punch, punch out a little bit more. So I like that. 
hopefully they'll stick. We'll see how it goes for our harsh Canadian winters and car washes, but it uh, uh, looks good. There's just another thing, and I'm really, really glad for these guys. Thank you.